We read about studies on uh, low back pain, for example, but really they are impeding uh, progress and uh, clinical treatment. Uh, there is no such thing as the homogeneous condition of low back pain. There are many subcategories. So a pain trigger causing low back pain in one person might be an entirely different trigger and mechanism in the next. So uh, everyone deserves and requires an assessment to create a precise diagnosis of their particular pain trigger and then match the appropriate avoidance strategy to that trigger to allow the neural sensitivity to desensitize. Now, finally, you've created a body and a person who uh, is receptive to various forms of uh, exercise uh, or whatever treatment it might be uh, to build uh, the foundation they need for pain-free movement. Now, that treatment might be uh, stabilization exercise if micro movements and instability are, are driving their pain triggers. Maybe they are too stiff and require a uh, more mobilization to reduce uh, uh, centers of stress uh, leading to pain. Others yet will uh, work towards the psychological spectrum. Um, but here I have a little bit of uh, an issue, particularly with what I'm seeing in the UK. Uh, I've consulted in many cases now, almost every single one of those patients, being a bit difficult, has been mistreated, and uh, they've been told that the pain is in their head. It's not in their head. They, uh, the system failed to give them an appropriate assessment, and uh, no one gave them a precise diagnosis that led them, here's what you should not do, and here's what you should do.